Hi, it's the CEO of Founder Suite, Nathan Beckert, and I'd love to show you around. So we think about fundraising as building a funnel and running a process. Uh, the first way to get started is to set up a new round, set up a dollar amount that gets shown up here, and then we want to start populating our funnel. So you can import a list of investors in Excel. You can add them one by one, or you can go over here and access our database that we built. So start typing a keyword for your market. Okay, we've got 12 pages of results for FinTech. Put on a location filter. And you must pick by city and you must pick from the drop down menus. So we've got some interesting people here and usually what folks will do is they will open up the LinkedIn page or the Angelist page of that investor, do a little more digging, a little more research on uh, that person, and then if they look good, add them to your board. So Addy just got added to my board as a potential target or prospect. Back on the board, it's your job as a CEO to be moving all these investor cards from left to right through contacted, pitch, diligence, committed, or to said no. And of course, the joke is if you move too many into said no, you lose the game. But uh, that's the general goal here. Let me show you another board. You can customize it as much as you want. So I made a, a board or a column called connectors where I'm adding a lot of my connectors. And then I have my research column. I have another column here called Steve B leads. So to add a column, you go over here to the three dots click that, you can add a new column. And I called it Steve B. Leads, and then over in Settings and Team, I invited Steve Bennett, one of my advisors, in to be a member of my account, and I can always remove him later. But I invited him in to be a member of my account, which gave him access to this board, and I asked him to add some names to my board, which he did, he added about 20 names. I did that with other advisors, and got about 60 or 70 good, warm leads from my network. So you can add other columns, customize columns. I added a few custom columns such as said no and revisit for series A, kind of variations of no's. Um, let's go into an investor card. So in, within an investor card, you can assign owners to each investor lead if you're running the fundraise with your co-founders or advisors. You can add tasks, notes, meetings, calls, push those out to the calendar of your choice so you really stay on top of everything. You can attach files so you can send which pitch deck you sent him or which term sheet you sent Howard. You can also sync up your email and this is using Gmail or a BCC format. So all the email threads with that investor get pulled in here. So it really becomes a system of record for all your tasks, notes, meetings, calls, files around that particular investor. It helps you stay on track, stay on top of your fundraise, and really run an efficient, streamlined fundraise. A couple other things I'd like to show you here. We have another tool called Investor Updates. So one of the very high value things you can do as the CEO and founder is to send regular monthly or bi-monthly or even quarterly updates to uh, people you're talking to. That's both your existing investors, if you have some, keep them up to date with your progress, as well as potential investors. And you can use this update to help warm them up for your next round. So six different sections here. We give you some prompts about what to write for every section. You can pull in a KPI table, edit that, pick which KPIs you want to display, if you have maybe a screenshot or a physical product, add some images around that. You can also attach files such as your pitch deck or model. You can preview it and then when you publish it, it looks like this. It's a very nice, clean format. Investors really like this. We've got a lot of feedback from investors that they like this, this format. This generates a a unique URL, which you then copy and paste into the email client of your choice, send it out to investors. If you've made your reports private, you can actually track and see who's opening them up and who's looking at it, right? Who's paying attention to your stuff? 
You can also use the same tool to host your pitch deck, which we do here at Founder Suite. Same concept. Upload your slides as images, generate a unique URL, and then this is nice. I can actually go and see which investors are looking at my pitch deck. So that's investor update tool. We have our investor CRM, our investor update tool, and our investor database. A few other things I'll show you very quickly. Uh, we have this founders market, which is a great collection of discounts on deals on other really great products. Most of these we use. We use Intercom. We use Bench for accounting. Uh, we use eShares. We use Stripe for our payments platform. Some really good deals in here. It will save you a lot of money. Gusto is another one we use. And then we have a Startup Docs collection, which is about 80 different templates, pitch decks, models, cap tables, term sheets, sample press release, uh, hiring agreements, things like that. So thank you for listening. If you have any questions, you can email us at any time, info at foundersuite.com. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. And good luck with your fundraise.